Hello everyone, Kazo War here making a video to show how to sign up for the Pokemon Global Link site. You want to go to your web browser and uh, go to pokemon-gl.com and it takes you to the site. Now wait for it to load and you can just click this button right here to skip the intro. And then you are on this page with these balls. Just click on any one of them and click this yellow button here. Next is your sign up page, just scroll down to the bottom, click this checkbox and click the button there. Now you're on the page you gotta put your stuff in. So the first one is your email, and I'm gonna put in an email address I just made for this video. It was kazopgl uh, at yahoo.com. That's not the ad symbol. And the next one is confirm your uh, email. This one is a password. I'm just gonna make one up. Let's see. Hmm. What should I use for this fake account? Durka Derp. That'll be my password. And I think it needs one number. One, at least one number. It's gonna be Durka Derp nine. Durka Derp. And this is going to be your username. That's going to, uh, going to call it a Kazo PGL. This is asking for your gender. This one is male. This one over here is female. This one you put in your date of birth. You know, I'm just going to put a random one in just because I'm making a video for a fake account and stuff, so it doesn't really matter. This is I think where you're, I think this is where you live. Like what city in Japan you live? Just click whatever one, because you obviously don't live in Japan. So you really do live in Japan, whatever. I don't know what those are. Just fuck them. And then down here is uh, this button. Play the confirm button. This is a page that pretty much confirms all your stuff. This I think that means cancel. This is proceed. Click the orange button. And now you're on this page, and you have to go to your email address, which mine is at yahoo.com. So that's how I gotta go. And okay, let me sign out. Sign into uh let's get rid of that. Castle PGL. Yahoo.com. Password was let's see. Okay, I should have an email from the uh I should have like a Japanese thing on it or something. Let's see if I'm inbox. Here we go. Support at whatever and the subject is in Japanese. So you're gonna click that. And you're gonna want to scroll down until you see this. We you see your password and a number above it. This is the number they want. This is like your login name number. So you're gonna copy this number. And you're gonna paste it here. And then you're gonna take this number. You're gonna, or your password, you put your password in there, you're check this box, and then you're going to click the button there, and it should do some stuff. It should take you back to the Pokemon Global Link site, where then you scroll down, or click skip that so you can sign in. Actually, never mind, I'll actually sign in at first. Um, but when you go to this page, this is your this is your another username that doesn't have to be the same username as the other one, but this is the username that shows up when you're like when it shows your scores and stuff for other people. So I'm just I'm just gonna put the same one I used earlier for the dummy account, which is Kazo PGL. And this number right, this one right here, this is the number or the code that's in your game. Um, you can find that down here and game sync this is the code for my game I don't know if showing this to y'all will fuck anything up or not but honestly don't care because this is for the Japanese game once the English game comes out that's going to be the code I'm going to be using but anyway you're going to copy that code into here and just uh, move it down here so I can see it and type it in and the code was U 334U G a C K B and just confirm 
but I typed the right thing there. Side by side. Okay. I just already used that code in my other account. It's not going to work. But this is the last step. You just click that button. You're done. But it's just telling me some error that the code is already used. But after that, once you're done, you're ready. You can just close the website out all the way if you want. Go on your DS and go into the global link thing. So, actually, I'll probably not show a video on how to do that in a second. Okay, here is what you gotta do in game. You uh, go to this lady here and uh, just keep pressing A until you get to this big list. And this big list is uh, means if you wanna do a single battle, if you wanna do a uh, double battle, a triple battle, a rotation battle, or America shooter, and then just exit. You wanna do a single, just keep pressing A there. Here you're gonna save the game. Uh, after that you go on if you don't get to save the game and she says a bunch of stuff pretty much your means you have two of the same item on your team or you're using Pokemon like Mewtwo and uh Gar I was about to say Garchomp but no that doesn't count uh, uh Deoxys Giratina you know all the things you're not allowed to use on Wi-Fi or not Wi-Fi but like battle power stuff now once you get on, you got free battle mode, which is uh just like you know unranked battles. It doesn't count towards the score. And down here you got ranked battles where you know when you win, you, your score goes higher, and you lose, your score goes lower. And there's a leaderboard on the site. So yeah, so we're gonna go here, free battle, just for uh just to show this thing off. So once you go here, it it like pretty much at that part there, it was checking your team, and if your team had like hacked Pokemon or anything, or like badly hacked, like some hacked Pokemon can get through if they're not badly hacked, but like if there's anything that it doesn't like, it kicks you off Wi-Fi right there, but once you get to the spinning circle, you're pretty much good to go for a random match, you just gotta wait for someone to battle you. Or wait for someone to find you, like it's like looking for someone to battle. And once it finds, it shows a card on the top screen, kind of similar to the card is on the bottom screen, but it doesn't show there. It doesn't show the number part. It just it pretty much it shows the top part of the card and down there where, the, where it shows your total battles, uh, wins and losses. It shows like their location and like some like saying you can type in. I don't know where you type it in at, but. Yeah. So just gotta sit here and wait and wait until it finds someone in battle. And it just found somebody. And as you can say uh, the top part where it says none, that's where their location usually is and they haven't set a location yet. And okay, it's already in the battle. You have about you have a minute and thirty seconds to select your team and so they do. It shows their Pokemon on the top. And you just pick Pokemon, let's see, they have I think I'm gonna go with. Let's see, here we go. I'm gonna go with uh, Latias and uh, Scizor, and I think this guy up here for my third. Cause you can only pick third three Pokemon in a single battle because it's using like the battle tower rules and stuff like that. And now uh, I'm in a battle here with some random guys. Maybe know who it is. So I uh, hope you guys can figure out how to use this stuff and start doing battles. So uh, good luck.